previous session we have seen how to construct a 3 bit adder in this session we'll be seeing how to construct a 3 bit up down counter using very log entry in ic project navigator so the block diagram is as shown with inputs as clock direction up and clear and output as a 3 bit number so whenever dire up is asserted count will increment and if de asserted count will decrement and out of this three input clear will have the maximum priority so let's quickly construct it so we'll create a new project as project 7 then 3 bit up down counter So having done that, let's add a new source of Verilog module, and we'll name it as Up Down Counter. so this is the module which we want to realize so let's quickly add the terminals first so we have clock then dire up and then clear signal and then the output count so let's appropriately define the so let's appropriately declare the inputs and the output variables note output is a 3 bit counter so we need to make it we need to declare it as a register we need to declare it as an array and also we need to qualify it as a register for realizing the functionality we'll be using always block with the sensitivity parameters as clock and clear and clear will have the maximum priority so at pause edge of clock or pause edge of clear this body will get executed if any changes occur in clock or clear signals so we'll be wrapping everything in begin and end statements so let's include the conditional statements of if and else so whenever clear is asserted we want count to be set to zero that is in reset state so we'll be using non blocking assignment and we'll set it as 3 back tick zero and in the else part wherein clear is de asserted then depending on dire up then depending on dire up state we'll be setting the logic of this section checking again for the dire up variable we'll be checking for the dire up variable so we'll increment the count variable by one unit or one bit and similarly if dire up is de asserted we want count variable to be decremented by one bit and since count is a 3 bit variable increment and decrement will be like circularly buffered for example after 7 it will reach to 0 then 1 and so on and so forth 
So let's quickly synthesize and check the register transfer logic of the top level block. So it looks similar to the part where we started with. So to test the internal functionality, let's create a test fixture. So here we'll initialize the inputs appropriately. So initially we'll be asserting the clear signal and then after some delay of 100 nanosecond, we'll be deasserting the clear signal. So now we'll be we can change the direction key to down count the counter to set the counter in down counting mode and then after some appropriate delay of hundred nanosecond let's conclude the execution. So we'll be using dollar finish command. Now for clock signal, we'll be using always block with a delay of 10 nanosecond. So let's save the file and quickly set it to the simulation mode. And we'll be, we'll be testing the module. So the results are shown in the ICM program. So for the output variable count, let's change the radix to decimal, unsigned decimal. So the initial part wherever clear was asserted, the output count is zero. And when the direction key is asserted, the count is incrementing. Like from 1, 2, 3 and so on so forth. And after 7 it is 0, 1 and so on. And whenever the direction up key is deasserted, the count decrements. So the functionality is verified. Mm -hmm.